So what are the best ways for rate control in atrial fibrillation with RVR? I'm gonna go over the three big ways. First, confirm that the patient is in AFib with RVR. Make sure that there's no prominent P waves in lead two of the EKG and often make sure that the rate is above 120 to qualify for true RVR. Once you know a patient is in AFib with RVR, there's three ways to get out of it. The first one is beta blockers such as metoprolol or Coreg. The second one is calcium channel blockers such as diltiazem. And the third one is digoxin, right? So this is something that inhibits the sodium potassium ATPase and also leads to a decrease in heart rate. There are several things to remember. For beta blockers, remember that they can often drop your heart rate and they can also drop your blood pressure. For the second thing, the calcium channel blockers, remember that they often cause negative ionotropy and are not recommended if a patient has decreased EF. And the last thing is digoxin is secreted by the kidneys, so not recommended if they have CKD.